What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy B Neil, aka Emerald Thoughts, aka Fat Hoes and Hot Wings. We back in this thing about to knock down my whole goddamn disc. Hey man, we we gonna get a Patrice O'Neal Stimmy pack. Shout out to the legend. Shout out to the god. Um, it's about to be Black History. So hey, it's a little bit of some Black History. One of the greatest comedians of all times, man. We're gonna get into it. Patrice O'Neal destroys feminist, like always. Get it. So, next up on the chopping block, XM Satellite Radio DJs Opie and Anthony, they're under fire now for airing joking comments about raping Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Will they be the next to go? Is radio cleaning house after the IMUS debacle? With me now, New City President, now New City Council Culture Bennett thing. President Sonia Osario, she took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to stop Stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio. And also, our favorite stand-up comic, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, are O&A next? I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and Elvis didn't lose their job or Imus. It's funny, th this is the thing. I, I, have, I don't know her, but and, I'm a... Uh, I, I think Dom Imus or David Imus, that's the dude that... Um... Uh, said the nappy-headed nig, uh, nappy-headed black girls or whatever, uh, the Rutgers uh, radio dude or sportscaster or whatever. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm a he, he spoke on it before. Uh, I'm not. I, I can't remember his point, but I think he's gonna kind of get back into it here too as well. Assuming that she has nothing to do with funny, so I'm gonna speak as the expert on funny. Funny people should just be left to trying to be funny. What if, what if they're not funny? Then you made a mistake, but how many, listen, how many times has an unfunny, how many f unfunny rape jokes lead to rape? Like, so, I don't know how many jokes about rape there are. There's a lot, but your, your world is not funny. Your world is uh, <laughs> next, <laughs> next on the big story. <laughs> My world is people trying to be funny. Well, I mean, you, you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. I'm a victim. I might lose a toe. But I'm trying to make fun of. I'm trying to make fun of anything I I think I can make fun of. Sonia, and I mean there are rape jokes out there. I can't think of them on the top of my head. But there's there's I mean there's racist jokes. There's funny. There's uh sexist jokes. There's funny. There's class, like bro, what it religious jokes that funny. It, it's no topic that's untouched when it comes to being able to be funny. Because I mean that's just the that's the beauty in comedy. Everything uh, can be criticized. Everything can be laughed about uh, to some degree. Uh, it don't make the action right. That's that's never been what comedy is about. Sometimes comedy is just about uh, pointing out the hypocrisies, uh, hypocrisies and things which make things funny as well. So uh, it's never when you speak on or have a joke about something is are you trying to make light of the actual t the subject? It's just maybe just trying to give a new perspective on it or something like that. But um, for some reason, people try to be ignorant and, and make it seem like, oh, this person is advocating for it just because they're joking about it. And that's so far for the truth. Bro. Come on. You know, what's happening now is the marketplace okay. is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's, I think the nation is just tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The na and the problem with that is, well, you can't really say the marketplace is when y'all like driving literally literal media campaigns to like try to counsel people and get people to believe in what you your cause essentially. Uh, that's that's a kind of a false statement. You know what? We're tired of things that is are this just the nation is paper and you. I'm, really? the, I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and funny. You're speaking for the nation or you're speaking for. Yeah. You know why? Because I remember six years ago doing a something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... Do you think they were trying to be funny? I think now people in Do this country... Do you think they were trying to be are funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they're trying to be funny. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you Why are you in that business? I've been to your show once and it wasn't very funny being a woman. It was in hilarious. Show, when you talked about... That's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her and the so uh, it's my I made a point talking about how fresh it fit. Someone said, "Oh, Patrice O'Neill was so much. Uh, he did it so much better and things like that than Fresh and Fit." Bro, people was actively at his head, bro, actively trying to counsel him, actively saying he wasn't a good comic, actively saying he was cheesy and all this other type of shit, bro. But he stood on what he believed and kept preaching. And not saying that they have the same integrity as the Patrice O'Neill by any means, but 
I, I hate when people use their argument to try to like you know uh downplay someone else like bro don't, don't ever talk about his legacy like that don't bring up his legacy like that because then they kind of mitigate how hard he had to really grind to get through things and really be heard like <laughs> you said he was well liked and it sounded like oh well he could speak that message and he ain't really have any risk like no nah, i think he had big risk in speaking his message because people was actively trying to counsel him the joke is hilarious called the angry pirate and the lady who wrote it in, the, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant and anybody who read it laugh because they know what funny you're not living in the context of funny you're living All in the context of have, fire have every right to be as funny as they want trying to be analytical and logical and that's not the space for that there's a space for analytical analytics and, and logical uh, ideas and i mean you can have that in it but when you try to over technical things like of course jokes will start the same uh, certain type of ways but that's not what that field is meant for it's like if someone was joking in a political setting like that's not the time and place for that for the most part so yeah like trying to bring that into it makes things out of it brings things out of context to a point where of course you'll never understand what they're trying to say and then i mean is that their fault or your fault for bringing putting things out of context is it's your fault they can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not talking. Stations you're are not listening. talking. You, Sonia, you're not talking and, to who I talk to. And you're to. not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, That's look at this. That's what it is. The marketplace. More is CBS speaking. radio firings. They've been on. The, they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house, or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is while you're reading that paper. It's the PC cops run amok. Do well, you think Who's she's a PC, PC cop? cop? Of course she is. She's, she That's has right an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real. This is just what she has to say. We are outraged oh, and fired and he's fired he's an and fired. Fool. Name calling. I'm he's outraged. I am I'm, outraged. You should be. You should be outraged. I am a fool. Now, if I called you a fool, ah! You know what? People are feeling a new sense of entitlement. Who are these to people in this country? Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement Patricia? Here's what. Decency. Here's my question: How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Go ahead. An attempt that, that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. You throw that at me. Well, the, why not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may, funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. The biggest thing with Patrice O'Neill is he don't like to be uh, framed as a hypocrite and he hate hypocritical black people. They get outraged when we can say all type of things, but when a white person say something, then we are all offended and stuff like that. He don't like stuff like that. It's just like, it, it, put, it makes us look like we're not critical thinkers or, or we're hypocritical and that's, that's not how he he'll like to be portrayed or um or, or whatnot. So that's I think that's his biggest point on this. Also, he's trying to keep I mean obviously the credibility and integrity of what com comedy is alive. So that's that that's his biggest points. But I, I it's funny, bro. It, it's nothing's changed, bro. Nothing's changed. This was 10 years ago. And before that, they were doing the same thing with uh, many other people, uh, whether it was in co a comedy with uh, Eddie Griffin or whoever. I mean, not Eddie Griffin, Eddie Murphy. They were trying to counsel him. NWA, they were trying to counsel them and regulate how they spoke and, and music and stuff like that. Bro, this counsel culture should have been around forever. But it's always funny. Um, they always trying to attack either the minority or people that are speaking up uh, against uh, things that's not what what would you call that uh, politically correct or social norms. Those are always the ones that seem to get counseled the most. Never the ones that's truly oppressing. Never the ones that's truly running the mainstream. Um, propagandas and stuff like that, or uh, the ones that's really oppressing us and and taking our money and raping us with taxes and shit. Them those are never the ones. Uh, the people of corporations that get counseled. It's always the people that uh, have the power to speak up, but don't really have any like constitutional power. <laughs> so that that's it's funny, man. No different.
It, you you don't know if anything is going to be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything funny. Don't you funny. think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny? It's possible, but I've heard them. I've heard them. You've em. heard a funny rape joke? Uh, I say a couple. Watch my HBO special. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, Patrice, will, Patrice says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you Wrong. Hit, her in the, hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin <laughs> and she walks no, around no, like, no, no. argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying said, to say. A violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then. Why are you laughing? She's outraged. It's called the donkey punch. It's whole humor that she has no Here's clue what it is. You have the same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't say just anything on the air. But she literally, somebody literally chuckled in the background. Like, come on, bro. Like, that, it, humor has a different place in society. And when you start trying to regulate that, it starts to show you what type of society you live in. That's just the truth about it, bro. I'm sorry. Just say anything you want. It might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should be able to be attempting. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If the, the president's wife, John, it why was trying it? to be funny. All right, Patrice, why aren't I hearing Al Sharpton complain about this thing involving Congress? Because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women. Well, it was involving a very prominent black woman. Well, where was she during, during young black? Everybody has their agenda. I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, excuse me. You but know what why I'm... am I not hearing from Sharpton? Because it doesn't concern him. It's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda, and it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's well, representing the, just the hoe. The nappy headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. Sonia. You know what? Women <laughs> and you have heard, been... People laughed at that shit. Like, it was a true statement, but it was also funny. Because, I mean, you know when those black politicians, just like Kamala Harris, no different. Uh, they get in there, it's like, oh, I'm not going to do anything just for black people. Like, <laughs> or just for black women. Like, they do that. And he pointed out the hypocrisy, which was funny. Abused publicly in the media for too long and people are tired of it this has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers people like this are so dangerous bro whether she really believes this or she's really a the, the right hand of the puppet master she's a dangerous person bro this you 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 think like an a, a, a tory a, ah fuck i hate when i get tongue twisted authoritarian and so dangerous, bro, when you're a media speaker or a journalist, you have these type of thoughts where, so imagine if you, you're, you was trying to be a, a integral or a journalist with integrity, and then you, they start to counsel you because of your journalistic approach. How would you feel about someone like hampering on your journalistic freedoms? Because he's no different. He's a journalist that likes to portray things in a funny manner. No different. They they speak on social topics, trending topics, from their uh, their opinion. But sometimes it don't even necessarily be funny. Dave Chappelle not just like this, like um, what do you call it? Like physical co a a, com a comedian or like this cheesy comedian. Like you can get a laugh out of it, but it also could be like a uh, kind of lecture. And it's not, a, I don't want to say lecture because it's far from that, but um, it's well thought out. And of course you're going to get jokes out of it because he's a comedian, but it's not the typical form of com comedy. And I, the reason I say that is because he portrays that journalistic approach as a comedian a lot clearer to make my point. Uh, but all comedians do it just in a different way. Well, not all, but most. Some um, are just dick jokes and uh, shit like that, which I wouldn't call that journalism at all. But uh, that's been about it, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and and, and uh, pulling back up, liking and subscribing. Y'all real for that. Um, the likes going up fast. The views going up fast. Let's get them subs up. Um, oh, my God. Is this all not recording? I'm about to say that's crazy. We out, man. Deuces.